What up, girl? It's your girl, Minna, and today I'm going to be testing out whether or not it is better to use a sponge to apply a foundation or to use a brush. I normally use a brush because I just like to pack on the product with the brush, but I know a lot of people, including you, you might favor using the actual sponge in case. Now, this is not a beauty blender. This is a Sonia Kashuk sponge that comes in a two-pack from Target, and I'll link it below in case you want to purchase it. So if you're interested, keep watching, but before that, I want you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's get to it. You feeling my puff or what? I broke my fast early today because I'm just hungry. Normally I like to fast until maybe one or th <laughs> that's a big jump, I know. But I broke it early because I'm just hungry. I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Primer. As you can tell, it's not mattifying me too much simply because I just finished my skincare routine like 30 minutes ago and my skin is extremely hydrated no matter what. Even though I'm going to wear a mattifying primer and a mattifying foundation, I still hydrate my skin. It's very, very important. So it might sound like it's like unnecessary to you, but it's so necessary. Normally this will make me so dry that I turn white. It's not happening today and that's okay. That's okay. All right, the foundation I'm gonna use is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Matte 24 Hour Foundation in the color Deep Bronze. It's a smidge darker. I love this. On the right side of my face, I'm gonna use the foundation brush just because I'm just so used to that. And I like to press it into the skin. I don't wipe it really, unless I'm in a complete rush. But I like to press it in in this fashion, really pack it on. That's important to me. I just want it to really just sit there. And it's not like I'm using a lot. Let's not forget that this is a full coverage foundation. It's not as full coverage as others. For instance, I have a blemish right here on my cheek and you can still see it, right? Now I'm still blending, granted. Lately it has still been showing through. I have had to add another thicker, more full coverage foundation on top, like the Juvia's Place Velvet Matte. All right, now this half face thing is really, really like challenging. It's like, how do I get this exactly half? I don't know. Now, one thing to know about using a, a foundation brush versus using a sponge is that the sponge will shear out your coverage. So if you're wanting to shear down the foundation, then using the sponge is perfect. I don't want to do that. I want to get the full coverage effect. Hence why using a brush is the best way to go. That is one pump of foundation. Now I'm going to take one pump and I really want to see if this one pump is even going to stretch enough. Make sure I squeeze out my sponge. You should not have any water coming down. So make sure you squeeze your sponge well. I'm squeezing it into a paper towel. This is a big sponge, but here we are. So first off, I know that I'm going to have to use more than one pump because some of the foundation is obviously going to go inside the sponge, which obviously it goes inside the brush too. But again, this shears things out. Look at that coverage. It is not as full coverage. And look, I've taken almost all of the one pump off my hand. With what's remaining I'm back in my hand, I'm gonna go to my forehead, but there's like nothing here. There's barely anything coming out. I would advise this if I had a full coverage foundation that I wanted to shear out. For me, I would never do that. I would never do this because then honestly and truly, you might as well buy a lightweight, a light coverage, sheer coverage, natural skin type foundation, and then use a brush to apply it. Do you see the bottom of my sponge? That to me is a waste. So I want you to comment and let me know, if, are you one of those people who does the sponge? Like, is this what you do? Because this is what you're doing. You're wasting your money. I, myself, me, 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 I don't understand this, but if this is what you do, I want to know, what's the rationale? What do you like about it? You just like to go sheer blemishes down here. Now, that's just me. You might have completely clear skin and that is awesome. And then when you do this, you just, just look like beach ready. Great. If you liked this sort of trial test, test out type of video, I want you to comment and let me know that and then give me some suggestions on other things that you want me to test out like this versus this. Okay. Thanks for watching this video.